Speaking of the French scene, only vaguely in the case of G2, I have to say, but okay, they still have the two French players. The other French team also apparently just became relevant again. So this year has been so disappointing if you're a Vitality fan, because first of all, they had the whole thing where they couldn't use the sixth player, and then that fucked up, and then Apex got benched in that weird scenario. And like, even though at the end of last year, they were fucking amazing, they were winning tournaments, always they were top three. They were basically like what Gambit and, uh, like, uh, well, at least until recently, heroic. Like, these teams, you know, they always are in the, in the running. And this year has been so bad and so underwhelming. Like, you've even seen Zewu have bad games, for fuck's sake. He's had a few ways just like, okay, or he's like not even the highest fragger on his team and they lose the game, you know. So this tournament, though, suddenly they're back. I mean, they've brought in all these new players. Like, if people don't know, they also RPK retired, old source legend, and they brought in Kyojin, who was, like, again, a player I hadn't heard of, so a pretty fresh player. And he's sort of starting to have some games now. What are your thoughts? I'll start with you on this one, Vince. What are your thoughts about Vitality, the return of Vitality? Yeah, just in general. It's an impressive tournament, but I, I'm not fully sold on them just yet. Uh, I've been burned too many times by French Counter-Strike with the inconsistency. And although there are definitely some some bright lights, as you said, Kiyajin has been quite impressive to me, that the main man, other than Zaiwu, has been Masuda. The sure. Suda's had some great performances, this tournament especially. He's either always up there with Zaiwu in terms of rating or just about there. Um, he's been having huge rounds, like clutch rounds, huge moments. Very, very impressed with him. But I do need to see more because even though they had a good tournament, they lost to OG, who obviously went the distance to the grand finals. And they also got beat by G2. But they also took down Gambit. So for me, it's a bit of a mixed bag, but it's great to see them getting some success again. I just hope that this is a taste of things to come and they can continue to pick up the pace here going through to the latter stage of this half uh, this year. Because as you said, it's been up and down. It's been a roller coaster with the Vitality. They look great, then they look terrible, then great, then terrible again. Uh, I just want to see consistency, man. That's That's all. What do you think, Rajan? Because obviously last year, you guys were competing with them, etc. They were one of the top teams. What do you think about Vitality? I, I think like this might this sound harsh what I'm gonna say, but but because of Saibu's uh, not so good uh, year so far, it's actually the reason why they're not losing. Uh, like if he's not performing, they're losing. That's just straight fact. If you go and watch their their pages, if he has like a normal Saibu rating, which is like 1.3x or 1.4 or whatever, they're winning the match. Uh, but as soon as he drops under, they're losing. That is something I've been taking note of, and and I just feel like you put way too many eggs in one basket if that's the case. Yes. That's actually something I, I always said last year when it was simple as I would like every tournament compete for the MVP, who's going to be the best of the year. I even said, if you're a fan, all everyone's going to do is, you know, argue which one's better and like, make it like the other one's shit or whatever. I said, you should just appreciate how we're good both are because it's ridiculous that two players are that good every tournament. And even worse, I actually remember thinking about both their teams, even though their teams are winning and making tournaments. I remember thinking, this is unfair. No one should have to carry that much every single game. Yeah. And so it's like, listen... In Simple's case, at least he is like fucking Ronaldo. You know, he's had a whole career and he's at the peak of his powers and the team's built around all that stuff. See, he was still a young guy. Like, it's totally unreasonable, the idea he has to carry every... As you're saying, the numbers you're talking about there, Rich, and like, for a normal star player, like a 1.2 rate is a good game. Like, a 1.25 <laughs> rate, I had a fucking good game, yeah. That's a bad game for Zemo. And as you say, they lose the game. And then people are going to look at him and go, why didn't you have plus 40? It's like, that's not reasonable. So this is the area where I have to say, it's on people like the newer players and the fucking coach extas. Like, if you want to be called the best coach in the world, this is where you've got to figure out a solution, mate. Because the, the solution can't be, I can do everything if one guy does the best possible numbers in the whole world. Like, it's got, there's more to coaching than that, mate. Like, there's people who have, don't have your player who are beating you. They don't have... Some of these teams that are placed ahead of you, like, Heroic doesn't have a Zewu. So that, that means in that scenario... Either you're playing on easy mode or you've got to show something like that. You've got to figure something out with these newer players. You've got to figure out a new style. You've got to even figure out, by the way, what do you do with Zewa when he's having a bad game? Because the thing about a player like that when they're as good as they are is you sort of let them do whatever they want if they get all the kills. But if they're having issues, eventually they've got to become just another player in the team again, haven't they? What are you, you going to say, Vince? I was just going to say that one point to maybe counter some of that, although it is still early days, is I think we are seeing Masut that has the ability to maybe be that second player to maybe okay. be that like electronic to the simple sort of part of the equation. Um, there were a couple games in this tournament where Zaiwi wasn't top fragging, where he wasn't top rating. It was actually Masuta and they won those games. So although it definitely true points, and for the longest time it was the Vitality uh, Zaiwu show, 
I think now Masuda is starting to to rear up and actually be a player that could, and obviously woulda, shoulda, coulda here, we'll see what happens in the next six or so months, but could be that second component that Vitality need to unlock consistency. But only time's going to tell if that ends up being the case. Yeah, I have I a question for that. you, Regin. When you actually see players like Simple, like Zewu, right? Obviously, if you're a fan, you do just think, "Wow, this guy's so amazing!" You know, let him just do everything in the game. Let him do, give him all the guns, give him all the like. That's just the new way of thinking of the game, right? If you're a coach and you have like a superstar player, how much do you actually try to cater to him? How much do you try to, you know, sometimes use his strength to help a different player in the team? Like, how, what's the vision that you have when you have a star player? Like, if you had Zewu, how would you try and use him? But it depends who, you, who you're talking to, you know, like, is this a person who's coachable or is this a person who is not coachable? Like, now I've heard you talk about Nico, for example, back in face, Duncan, and where we have YNK, there's a coach. Were Nico coachable? Was YNK the it's right coach, etc.? Like, yeah. If for, when you look from the outside, it didn't seem like that. You know, yes. th- that's, just, that's just a fair point, I think. Yeah. Um, so I, it, it's very individual, like, are they coachable? That's the one thing you have to, to look at. If they're not coachable, you just have to kind of... You, you're going to put away the scales. Like, okay, this guy is killing 30 every ra- every match. Let's just let him do the show. We're going to do something together, you know? Like, that's one way of looking at it. I don't like it, but it, it can work. Um, uh, but if he's really coachable and stuff like that, you, you, you kind of want to bring him into the whole system, but you don't want to... Like I think Kerrigan actually said something like really smart here. You don't want to change the opera playing style, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You want them to be their own way. But when when I see like a player like Saibu, he's just so damn clever. Like it's insane. Like his map awareness, timings, etc. Everything is on point. Like he knows when you can come from behind, so he's gonna check in the timings, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I don't see him like to 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 put him one to one to simple will be a. A mistake in my opinion like simple is just better like if you look at taking over games simple is just better at that uh so if you're gonna have a simple guy on your team what basically i would do is just say you're gonna do your show and then we're gonna <laughs> hopefully right. pick up the pieces yes. you know yes. uh where in saibu's case and this is purely speculation of course i haven't worked with yeah of course with either of them so it's just like speculation but with saibu's case look like he's much more inter uh integrable integrate I don't know the names, but for integral, that. yes, integral. yeah, like they, you can use them in in this in this whole team environment and everything. So, I think the potential is higher in Saibu than simple because of that. So I, I, see I don't know if that answered the question actually. I okay. got I just started no, rambling. No. Yeah, it did. Yeah, and also <laughs> say uh, by the way, yeah. before people wig out, like. Someone saying it's not simple though. It's like yeah, spoiler. That's everyone in human history. So I wouldn't. That's not a diss. That's that's that's, that's like saying oh, he's already the second best basketball player ever. It's like that's pretty fucking good. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty, pretty okay. good. I'd take yeah. that. Okay. I mean, like, still, like also, like if you're yeah. watching simple, you you like if you watch simple play, you're like I'm gonna do what he does. No, you're not. You're not simple. Like if you're gonna try and be better, if you can hear an alarm. Sorry, I don't know. There's some going on outside. A little bit, but sorry. All right, um, but. If you're watching a demo of simple and trying to learn, you're not going to learn because he's doing simple things. Like we always, yes. we always talk about that mouse and whatever. Like you know, like I, I watch simple demos. Yeah, but why? Like, you're, not, you're not simple. You you can't go and just pop three hits like that or shoot your save out of the positions all the time. You know, like where you look at Saivu, he's a really fucking good player and really clever. Same with Device. If you want to be a better opera, watch Device. Like don't watch simple because simple is going to do some shit none of us can do or even yes. imagine doing. I'll even say, by the way, one thing I've noticed, because I like to watch him. He's one of the only people in, in esports I actually watch stream sometimes because he's just so good even when he streams. And one thing he does that just shows, like, not, not even pro players, do not attempt this. You will fuck your whole career up. Is when Simple literally, like, kills someone and then he thinks there's someone else even vaguely close, he doesn't reload when he has, like, two bullets left in the AK. He does, like, a config. He literally, no joke, will just... He just waits and he just ensures that he one-taps them in their head and wins the round. Like... Mate, that's even a pro player shouldn't do that. Like in that scenario, the reason you you have to reload sometimes is because like they can't fucking instantly kill him in his head immediately. Like that's ridiculous. So I've seen him literally do rounds where he got like three kills with like three bullets left. He just did one taps on all of them. Like, <laughs> listen, chance will be a fine thing. I'd like to wake up and be able to just put like that's like he, he's just a human aimbot, doesn't he? He can just aim on yeah. the head, you know. And he's just so he's just so good, man. 
It's like that is the question. Uh, oh, keep on it. Like, yeah. It's like the equivalent back in League of Legends when Faker was was you know the top player, sure. and you'd have all these people mid laners that were trying to copy him, and it's like you, you can't mechanically. He's so much above you. You're going to learn the basics wrong if you copy him. And that's not because he's wrong. It's because he's Faker or because he's simple. He has yes. that natural ability to pull it off. You're just a pleb in comparison. Like you have to build your blocks yes. up first. There's a saying actually in English like that that's about like learning, you know, it says that but you have to learn the rules before you can break the rules. He didn't just start doing that. Like obviously you learn, you know, the fundamentals of the game, you do this. And then the idea was he just knows he's capable of more than we can all do. So he just does all extra shit. Like I know it's Atlas, by the way, he, he beat all of us because everyone back in the day, even when he was carrying, used to go, yeah, but isn't he a bit too aggressive? And should he have gone in that? Mm, I think maybe you shouldn't be trying so many no scopes. Now everyone's just like, that. Ah. You win, sir. Yep. Like, so what can you say? Yeah, I mean, this is the problem. Go. This is the problem. Like, when, I don't know how many times, like, you've seen the Kess play when he drops down from heaven, yes. no scopes, guys, stuff like that. It's like, that's just bad CS. Like, it is. It's, yeah. it is just bad CS, but it works out simple. Or just to drop in the orb or to run in with a P250 or whatever. It's like, I, I can't remember how it was. Uh, you know, like, this is like, but why? And it just works out because of him, you know. Like I remember, I had the, a conversation with the, the Voro Two K guy. Uh, he's a good friend with Simple, and we talked about the when he tried to knife uh, Nitro. I think it was yes in that yes. tournament. Yes, they actually, yeah, yeah, and they actually got out because of that. Like yeah, they lost because the, of they that. lost the map at least. Yeah, yeah. Um, where it's like the discussion was from this young guy telling me that yeah, but there's still two guys left. They yes. should kill him, you know, like it's a, that's irrelevant because like if Simple can do this to you, some other guy can do it also. He's probably not going to do this as often as Simple is, but all these players are good enough to pull a rabbit out of the head, you know, but Simple just does it so f frequently, you know, but this is a problem like for, with the younger generation when they look at Simple be like, oh, I can do that or I should do that, play this CS, it's the wrong CS mate, like unless you're that good as Simple, fair enough, like, like, that, like, like you just said, Don Duncan, like like, I, I look at him and be like, this is retarded. And then he suddenly pull out a 4K. It's like, okay, well, yes. what I can say then? You know, like, I had the same discussion with Voxig and Mousebot, where like, but what you're doing is stupid. But yes. I go kill, what are you going to say? I killed, I killed three. I said, yep. yes, but the second you don't kill, we lose the fucking match. And what happened when we came home in COVID and Voxig didn't kill? Yes. We fucking lost the match. Like, not to blame everything on Voxig, no, but no, you know no. what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. it's just to, to put this mentality in that, like, yes, it's amazing when you can do it. And yes, you're going to win tournament when it works. But the second it doesn't work and you have nothing to fall back on, you're screwed, mate. Want to see more cool, funny, interesting clips based on topics from my content? Well, subscribe to this channel then, or, you know, be a pleb and don't.